welcome to Against the Grain. I'm Andrew. And I'm Daniel. It's been a very long time since we've done one of these. Yeah, we had a massive hiatus yeah. before, you know. You know, with me, with family and work and personal stuff. And me because I'm a lazy straight bag, I guess. <laughs> so. <laughs> and today we will be talking about WWE Royal Rumble and how it is going to be a pile of crap. Yeah, well, it could be good. No, it's going to be a pile of crap. No, it, 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 could be, it could be good, though. It's going to be a pile of crap. It, it, could, it could surprise you, you know? I mean, we're not even talking about the kickoff show because <laughs> it's just... Uh, it just looks so bad. We have the cruiserweight six man title match. No, it's not even title match. It's just a six six way tag match for the yeah. The cruiserweight belt never gets defended anymore in like pay per views, does it? Like never. I, I mean, mean, it was Enzo Amore. I mean, I mean, it has perfect reason to actually have a tournament for it now, but they're not even doing that. Like no. And plus, now with uh, Enzo Amore gone, <coughs> good. <you know. laughs> we won't be talking about <coughs> that. <laughs> though, though it does make you wonder what they're going to do with Big Cass when he comes back though now that the guy who he started with you know is gone well they might push him well they might or they might like give him the punishment Enzo would have got if Enzo stayed on you know I, I imagine I, I, mean, I mean they couldn't obviously keep him on but like they were already planning to suspend him before they like pushed for the firing so I imagine Big Cass in the cruiserweight <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that would you know you know not go over well you know because he's clearly not a cruiserweight uh, so when so we won't be doing the kickoff show mainly for the fact that it, it just seems terrible. Main my main concern about the the kickoff show is the Bobby Roode uh, open challenge match, just because that looks so bad. I mean, that is in the kickoff, right? So that's in the kickoff. It's such a weird thing to put in the kickoff, like because what because what if he loses? And then it's such a weird kickoff match that I mean, he only just got the title. I know. Who who do you think is open challenge? Who do you think is going to accept the open challenge though? Just out of curiosity. I think it's going to be Baron Corbin. Hmm. No, I think it's going to be Judge Mahal. So. I imagine Dolph Ziggler came back for that Do, match. Oh my, what if that's the only reason that Dolph Ziggler's been high? It's just so he could challenge Bobby Roode in an open challenge match. I have a feeling it is, actually. Oh, please, no, no. I have I have a feeling that's going to be. No, they, they, they're just wasting Ziggler if they do that, so... They've already been wasting Yeah, I, I know they they have been wasting him, but I mean, like, wasting him further, you know, like... No, I think that. I mean, I, it's already been so weird that he won the title fair and square, and he made a big deal. And in the next day, he was just gone, pretty much. Like, I think that that's gonna happen, though. I think that's generally how it's gonna happen. I don't know. Surely, gender makes the most sense, though, because he was the you know other person in the tournament that nearly true. nearly got it. So, well, my prediction is Dolph Ziggler's gonna come back and ch- uh, take the open challenge. That's terrible. That's a terrible idea. Right, well that's my prediction for that match and oh. it's going to be a terrible match. Just right, anyway, let's go on to the first match. We're actually using the GameSpot's match card, so we're going with, going with the setup they've done. So yeah. if anything's wrong, then blame GameSpot. Uh, so we're going... You just blame GameSpot for everything, honestly. So. Yeah. No offence, GameSpot, if you're listening. So. <laughs> okay, so, so we're going to go with uh, the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin in a 2 out of 3 falls match. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. What, what do this. you think of this match? <laughs> Oh, uh, what do you think of like the setup that's happened? Well, up to I this? mean, I mean, I mean, it still feels weird that they let Jason Jordan go and do his own thing, and then Chad Gable was just stuck as a tag guy still. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know Jason Jordan's in a tag team again now, but he's really just kind of a placeholder for Dean Ambrose currently. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I, I mean, mean, the Usos are good, and Shelton Benjamin's good. Chad but, Gable's all right too, but. Who do you think the face and the heels in this? I get the feeling that the Usos are the faces, and, and I don't know. Surely, surely Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin are kind of the faces because Shelton Benjamin is maybe like Kurt Angle's friend, right? So not really, because it it generally seems like over the past like few SmackDowns, it seems like you know Chad Gable and Benjamin have been sneak attacking the Usos. So, e- e- well, either either they're turning heel and the Usos are turning face. Or they're doing the um, thing where like John Cena is a face, but he does very heelish things because lol, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's go with that. It's, it's like that. Oh, that rap scallion Cena. Oh man, R- here he comes ruining the Nexus. You I know, know right? Uh, yeah, but but yeah, like stuff like that where it's just like, wait a minute, who's who's the villain here? You know? Yeah. Or or my favorite one where. Ran Randy Orton burned down Bray Wyatt's house, <laughs> and it's like, wait, wait, how how is Randy the good guy here? He literally just burnt down a person's home. Yeah, like that doesn't. <laughs> um, 
I think that Usos are going to retain the titles. Yeah, I think so as well. Because I, 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 last year's Royal Rumble weren't didn't a lot of people retain. Yeah, the Royal Rumble is not really a a thing where like the title really gets exchanged because the people won't care more about the big match at the end of it. So no, and also see a lot of people are saying that what happened with is it Jimmy Uso that got the the D, the UI? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I could be wrong, but. Um, you know, for for driving under the influence, I mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people are saying WWE is going to punish him for that. They could do that actually, because remember Rob Van Dam, like yeah, he he won the world title and then pretty much like the next week he got caught uh, driving like with weed and all that. Yeah, and they took the title off. Yeah, him. yeah. Um, it's a shame because he could have been like one. I think he could have been a fantastic long reigning champion, Rob Van Dam. But yeah, you know. but I think I, I think if they were going to punish him. I think they they punished him on Tuesday SmackDown mm-hmm. because he lost. I don't know if it was Jimmy Uso that was fighting Gable. Right, right. I should really look into that. <laughs> um, but uh, the Usos lost that match. Ah, yeah. Um, so I think that was his punishment and punishment. Yeah, I mean, I always think they should do like. I, I don't know, like WWE is really over the punishment kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Because I I I do I do think it's like one of these things where like. If Cena was the one that had done that, I think the punishment would be done backstage. Yeah. Whereas there's people that like do things, and then they they but they make it like public. Or they make it part of the TV show and all that. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's kind of weird how WWE goes about their punishments like that. Um. But honestly, the um. Uh. The Usos, like, if you're saying, like, they've already been punished, I don't know. I mean, it's just... I'll, I'm just going to be honest. It's not really a match I particularly care for. <laughs> no. Um, I, I, I'm more interested in Raw's tag division than I am SmackDown's. I'm not even interested in the tag position. The, the tag titles. Well, well I, I'm, I'm interested in the Raw one because I actually like some of the teams in the Raw one. Like, Sheamus and Cesaro is, like, my favourite tag team at the moment. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm going with the Usos mainly for the fact... You know, I, I like the team, and they're really good. They're good. They had good matches with the New Day, yeah. 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 So I, I generally think they're a good holder for the titles. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Usos. Cool. And if I can get um, the next fucking image up. <laughs> uh, and we're to the Raw t- uh, tag team titles now. Yeah, versus. It's going to be Seth Rollins with not Dean Ambrose versus Seamus and Cesaro. <laughs> A.K.A. Jason Jordan. Um, A.K.A. Kurt Angle's uh, illegitimate son. <laughs> <laughs> I still cannot believe they actually went forward with that. I can't believe they went forward with that either. Um, uh, they, that, they don't even look remotely alike, other than the fact that they're both like shaved heads and amateur wrestlers. Yeah. That's it. And even then, Jason Jordan's not even... like If you've actually read his amateur wrestling background, the only reason he went into amateur wrestling because he thought he was getting into professional wrestling at the time. Yeah. Um, and he thought, like, you did amateur wrestling and then you progressed to professional. Mm-hmm. Whereas Kurt Angle was, like, you know, he was a very serious Olympian and all that. But then they're trying to make it this whole thing, they're like, it was in his blood to be an amateur wrestler. Yeah. And it's like, that's not how it happened at all. No. He just kind of did it by, you know, But you know accident. what that, that, that storyline reminds me of? Uh, not as maybe not as bad as this, but it's still as stupid as this. You know when Vince McMahon faked his death. Oh yeah, but they they didn't, they didn't complete that storyline though. So no, um, and it was Hornswoggle that was his son, right? So. Yeah. Oh, it was meant to be. Uh, yeah, it was Miss. Ken, Ken, yeah. Ken, what was his name? Mister Kennedy. Mister Kennedy. Ken Kennedy. Um. Yeah. It was meant to be him. Oh, uh, there's some, there's some nostalgia trips for you there. You know when Mister Kennedy was in WWE. Yeah. Um, no, Mr. Kenny wasn't that bad, you know. No, it was no. Really. I, I, I think I think the problem is that they they even directly tried calling him the next Stone Cold, and it's like stop trying to compare your current stars to your past stars. Yeah. Kind of like how people keep saying Roman Reigns is the next John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, but we'll get onto Roman Reigns later on. Um, oh God, no. <laughs> But I don't know. I don't like Jason Jordan. I I really don't. I don't I, like his character. And I, I, I know you like Seth Rollins, but you know I'm still I'm still bitter about the whole injuring Sting thing. So <laughs> so am I. Sting used to be my my favorite wrestler. Yeah, he's a lot of people's favorite wrestler. I mean, 
even though he spent so long out of WWE, he was still a lot of people's like favorite wrestler. Like yeah. his his tenure in like uh, TNA from you know when it started all the way, I would probably say maybe two thousand eight. Like <laughs> that was that was like TNA's kind of like good years, you know. Yeah. And then after that, it just proceeded to go incredibly downhill. Kind of like WCW, ironically, actually, but. <laughs> I mean, at least WCW, even, even how bad it got, it's still kind of funny looking back on it. TNA, though, it's not even... I mean, like, it's more... Tra- it's actually very tragic. <laughs> to, to the point where, like, Sting, even Sting, who basically was, like, the one guy to never jump ship, had to jump ship, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, I get the feeling in this match that Jason Jordan's going to turn heel. Right, Because right. of what happened at... Uh, uh, Raw 25 oh yeah where Cesaro jumped out of the way and yeah and Seth wish I put him in the face ah yeah I, I get the feeling that this is going to be a heel turn for him it's about time because he doesn't do anything so. he's not a very good face no he's no one maybe, likes maybe, him maybe he was a fine face when he was with Chad Gale because that was their goofy characters and all that yeah. but ever since they split and he's been stuck with Kurt Angle for a while yeah I, I do think they should do that thing where like he faked the DNA test or something like that to try and get a push quicker. And now that's not working out for him, review him as like this big genius mastermind or something like that. And you know, that could that could work if he, Yeah. But the thing is though, you're saying he's not a good face, so what makes you think he's gonna be a good heel though? That's the No, he's not a good face, so they have to try something else. Oh no, because no, because think about it, like Roman Reigns isn't a great face. And they're still so reluctant to pull the heel trigger on him, even though he had like one of the but... best heel promos last year. Which was the "This is my yard now" promo, and he just left. I mean, that was good. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That here's was a, like, that was like, yeah, I want to see more of that Roman Reigns. Here's you know? the thing, you know, if, if, with with Roman Reigns, I mean, he can be a good heel. Mm-hmm. Just don't give him a lot of lines. Yeah, yeah, make him the silent but deadly character. You know, the um, but but I digress though off of Roman Reigns because we'll end up talking about Roman Reigns for the yeah. rest of eternity though uh, who um, do you think is going to win this match um, I think Sheamus and Cesaro will win but that, and that's not just because I want them to win I think I think in order for Jason Jordan to turn heel they need to lose yeah I'm going to go with the bar also mainly for the fact I don't like Jason Jordan um, and I feel this is going to be his heel turn yeah yeah I, think, I also think like Sheamus and Cesaro like they they're a good tag they, table they have they have upped the game of the tag teams I remember uh, Survivor Series 2016, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and the the tag match and all that. Sheamus and Cesaro were the what? That was like when they started being a tag team, right? Yeah. Uh, Sheamus and Cesaro completely impressed me. Like that's when I like thought, oh, these these two are actually like a really good. They have this really good dynamic where they kind of hate one another, but they're forced to team up. Yeah. And now, but now obviously they're like best friends. And even last year's Royal Rumble was funny how like, they were in the kickoff show and they lost. But then they both appeared in the Royal Rumble. They eliminated one another. That was funny. Um, Wasn't it Chris Jericho that eliminated both of them because they were trying to eliminate each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and their feud with the Hardy boys was amazing as well. Yeah, that's very, very true. And how they had a few matches with them and they lost. But they were like shaking hands on it. Just, no, no, we still respect you. And then like, the third time they're just like, fuck it. And they, and they beat the shit out of them. Um, yeah. So uh, we're gonna go with the bar on this one. Yeah, yeah. So far, t- out of two matches we've done, you know, we've agreed on who's gonna win. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going on to now Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Kane. Well, Kane, we know Kane is not winning it. You know, Kane so, is there for the pinfall. Yeah, K- K- Kane. Kane is there because he's a draw basically. So yeah, K- Kane's there to take the pin, and he's gonna go off to continue his. Uh, his, is, it, is it mayor of Tennessee's going yeah, his, for? Yeah, his election. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know how he has time to do this at the moment. Um, so I'm saying that Kane's going to be the person who's going to take the pin because. It... But who do you think is going to be the one to do said pin though? It's either going to be Lesnar or Strowman. I want, Le- I want Strowman to win. Yeah, I want Strowman to win. But the problem is, as long as Brock is in the company, he's holding on to that belt. Yeah. Um, because Brock is also a big draw as well, but the problem is, you know, Strowman's going to stick about. Exactly. Um, I, I think Strowman would be a fantastic Universal Champion. Mm-hmm. I generally would. He, uh, he, I mean, fine. He's done a couple of goofy stuff, but I think that's what they're kind of trying to see. If I mean, yeah, yeah. I get the feeling they're just doing it that way just to see if he'll he'll kind of like break character. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he he hasn't. That just 
the bit where he goes completely crazy in the back and just picks up a piece of cake, sit the cake and eats it and walks <laughs> off. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, do do you think? Like, we we know Strowman and Lesnar can have a good match, but adding Kane into it though, as I said, the Kane's there, Kane's there yeah, for the pinfall. Yeah, exactly. But like, is Kane even going to be quick enough for this match? Like, Kane's going to end up getting a broken hip. Because I mean. Like, don't worry, I'm pretty sure he could still do some of his moves and all that, but he definitely would need to take his time, you know? Unlike the two of them, they could, like, run about and all that and try and get one another, whereas he'd probably need to stand in one position and wait for them to come to him. Yeah, he, um, I mean, Kane's still a fantastic wrestler, but, he, you know, he can't go for long periods. Yeah, and yeah. And this match has to go for a long time. What if they do, like, a thing where, like, maybe he gets injured before the match and they had a last-minute replacement? They were just putting Kane in it. To draw numbers or something like that. You know, you know something I really, really hope they don't do. Like they do all with the Brock Lesnar matches. Mm-hmm. If they're like a, a triple threat or a, a fatal four way match, yeah, yeah. is they'll put Brock through a table. Oh yeah, and he, completely he, destroy him, and he'll get like carted off. But yeah, like yeah, five like minutes, they, like they do that summer slam, yeah. yeah. The last five minutes, he'll come back and just destroy everybody. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That was that was the biggest pile of bull ever. I mean, I mean, Dugger and I was funny. But yeah. like, and and I guess it made sense at the time for Lesnar to hold on to the title. But like, I would have, yeah, I would have rather it be something like maybe they do kind of destroy him, but then maybe he gets like a lucky pin towards the end or something after being out of commission for a while. But like, still have him there. Don't take him away because Lesnar like needs to go to like his happy pills or something. Yeah. I don't know. He uh, he. he... I think this match has to go on for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I I would say a good 40-minute match. I know. Well, who do you want to win versus who do you think will win? I want Strowman to win. Yeah, I want Strowman to win. Lesnar's going to win. But Lesnar's going to win, yeah. Lesnar's going to win. He, he he has too much of his hand. Te- technically, he, he's, a, he's a puppet master for Vince at this time. Yeah, yeah. He's, te- he's technically the Hulk Hogan... Of this era, mainly for the fact he can do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, and he'll get paid a massive amount of money even if he's not there half the time, you know? Yeah. Um, so, Strowman as the favourite, but Lesnar as the realism, basically. Yeah. I mean, I really want... Le- I, I want Strowman to win. I, I love Strowman. Strowman yeah, is, Strowman's great. So, you know, I because, think, yeah, because when you think about like the Wyatt family and all that, um, people knew Bray was going to stick around as like a big draw. Yeah. But... Nobody really thought Strowman was going to be... I thought Strowman was going to be a failure. I thought he would be gone the same as uh, Luke. Yeah, people thought Luke was going to be the next big thing from the Wyatt family. But no, Strowman really came into his own. Yeah. And has turned to, like, this monster heel. Like, I I think... I think my problem with Strowman is that they needed to give him a streak... But because when he was with Roman Reigns, because they also wanted to push Reigns, they did the whole, he wins this week, and then he'll win the next week. And then yeah. he wins the, when they should have been like, you know, Strowman should have just destroyed him every single time. Mm-hmm. It would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, that's, ugh, I don't know. It's, I, I, I think I, it'll be a good match, but it doesn't mean I'm going to be happy. I know? think it's going to be a terrible match. I generally think, I mean, my expectation for this match is high. And usually because usually when it's high for a match... You know, it's it turns out to be a, such a bad match. I, th- I think they should do a thing, right, where um the three of them are in the ring and they're about to go for one another, but then like Shane walks out or something and goes, "Guys, guys, guys, don't fight just yet. I've just made a deal and we've turned this into a fatal four way." And then Goldberg comes out and just kills them all, and then Goldberg gets the deal. <laughs> No, come on. No. Ah, oh, come on. No. You know, you know, you want it. No. You know, you want to see that. That is the, that no, is the dream. It was good when it happened, but I don't want Goldberg to come back. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, but according to WWE, the only person who could destroy Brock Lesnar is Goldberg. It's like rock paper scissors, except it's Brock Strowman Goldberg. You know. Yeah. And Goldberg. If you pick Goldberg, that wins every single time. Hey, okay, so. So our predictions is that Lesnar's going to win. We're not happy yeah. about it. We want we we want Strowman to win, but reality, Lesnar's going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesnar's not going to take the pinfall. That he's definitely not. Yeah, yeah. Um. So that moves us on to this match. I'm not really happy about this match. What AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Yeah, I'm not happy about it. I'm not. 
I, I wish AJ Styles just went up against someone good. Wait, but so this isn't a triple threat though. This is two on one, right? Yeah, yeah it's a two on wait, one. Wait, wait. So if the two of them win, do they both share the title, or is it just depending on who I gets the I think it's like pin? a unified world that's, champion. That's weird though. Like that doesn't. Have they ever done that before? No, they've like, never done that before. No, they've that, done it with the tag team titles, but it worked. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's going to work here. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it just make more sense to just make a triple threat? They won't make it a triple threat though. <sighs> Though, though I, I have a feeling... No, 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 but if they made it a triple threat, they could do an ending where maybe, like, Sammy gets the pin on Kevin. Mm. Like, but no, if it's a two-on-one, he can't pin Kevin then, so... No, I, I have a feeling what may actually happen in this is either Kevin, Owen, uh, Kevin Owens is going to turn on Sami Zayn, mm-hmm. or Sami Zayn is going to turn on Kevin Owens, and e- either or is going to win the... Uh, the world championship, but they were on the same team though, so that doesn't. Yeah, but is is <laughs> it's a stupid setup. Yeah, so. but is is a gold more important to them than friendship? I mean, we know that for Kevin Owens anyway. Yeah. So I get that the feeling, the feeling with that with uh, oh. Sami Zayn. <sighs> I don't. I mean, no, just just imagine. I don't know. I just I just don't know why they can't have AJ retain because. Let's face it, AJ is the favorite. Like. As much as WWE tried to push the Les- guy who built his house, as they tried to push Lesnar or Reigns as the guy, no, AJ Styles is actually the guy. He's a he, good worker. He's the guy who people actually want to watch. Yeah, he's the guy people want to see with the title. There's a reason why when he was a heel, people cheered for him <laughs> like crazy. Um, even when he was beating the shit out of faces like really horribly, people were still cheering for him. Yeah. Um, and like he was like screaming stuff like I deserve better and all that, and people were people agreed with him. <laughs> he's not so he's some he's he's the massive fan favorite, and the fact that WWE might not even recognize that is pathetic, you know. Yeah, but I, I have a feeling. I think this is how it's gonna go. Uh, this is my prediction for the match. Kevin Owens is going to go. Well, he does the the pop up power bomb, and right. gets uh, AJ uh, AJ Styles. Out of nowhere, and you know, and he does it. He's out, of, you know, he's out of stamina, and you know, he leans against the turnbuckle, and he turns around, and Sami Zayn's just gonna smack <laughs> and kick him with the Huluva kick, right? And he's gonna pin AJ Styles and win the title, and he's gonna go off as, uh, as a. The world champion. It's still gonna be weird though that Sammy if that does happen, Sami Zayn got the world title before getting the Intercontinental title. I, I, I mean, I, 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 mean have him, a... I mean, how long was Sami Zayn chasing that? You know, like he he can't beat the Miz, but he can beat AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. But he's doing it sneakily, though. I know, but you know, because he, he he beat uh, AJ Styles on SmackDown. Right, right, right. So, I, I, mean... I, I don't know. It's just. No, my prediction is I think they're gonna let AJ retain. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go. But with, that, but that doesn't change the fact that two of them could still turn on one another. I'm going with Sami Zayn. Right, right. I'm going with Sami Zayn on this one. No, AJ's gonna retain, but the two of them are still gonna turn one another, and then I'll give Sami Zayn a proper one-on-one match because he'll use the excuse of like I actually was able to beat AJ and you couldn't, so I want a one-on-one match to prove my my worth. And then maybe he'll beat AJ. Yeah, I'm 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 going with Sami Zayn because. I kind of like what what they've done with Sammy. Mm-hmm. He, he he's still like the the crazy hyper dude, but he's you know got evil plans. You know, I, I, I I'm gonna go with Sammy. It, it just feels like these are matches you should want to see, but the setups are stupid. Yeah, I'm going with Sammy Zane. Okay, this one I'm actually really looking forward to, just mainly for the fact that who may actually show up. Yeah, yeah, and this is not something they've done before, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the women, women's Royal Rumble, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Same rules as the men. you got to get t- uh, thrown over the rope. None of yeah. us thrown from the middle rope or the bottom rope kind of bullshit. You yeah, have to yeah. get flung over this. <laughs> um, um, well, who do you think is going to return for it? Trish Stratus. Right, that's, she's she's pretty obvious though. So. Lita. Lita, right. Michelle McCool. Right, right. Uh, who else would return for it? Um, 
Oh, Molly Holly's meant. There's a rumor that Molly Hall is going to be. There's also a rumor AJ Lee's going to return for it. I doubt she will be come back. I, know, I want I, her to come back yeah, for yeah. it, but I doubt she'll come back for right, it. Right, right. I doubt it. I mean, I I, I loved AJ Styles, not AJ Styles. AJ <laughs> Lee, AJ Lee when she was, uh, you know, the 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 emo punk uh, world champion. I yeah, thought yeah. She, she she was a really good heel mm-hmm. champion. Um. So I, I don't think AJ Lee's going to come back, but I, I kind of hope she comes back. Yeah, yeah. Same way I kind of hope that CM Punk comes back. Yeah, but he ain't going to come back, so um, there's, too, there's too much personal politics for him. So Trish Stratus, Lita, Michelle McCool, Molly Holly, maybe Beth Phoenix? Maybe? I mean... I mean, maybe, but she, mean... she's, she spent a lot of time being... Being a wife and a, a mother. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think she's done much professional wrestling or kind of. You don't. You don't think Mrs. Lesnar will turn up? What Sable? Yeah. No. I mean, I mean, don't get I mean, that'd probably be a terrible idea, because oh. she's known for being like one of the worst human beings on the planet. But at the same time, she is kind of. She is an iconic woman of the of the sport. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean. You know who I hope was in this. And not oh. Ronda Rousey, but she's she's definitely going to be in this. It's Ember Moon. All right, okay. I really hope that Ember <laughs> Moon is in this because I want a face off with Asuka and Ember Moon yeah, in yeah. the mid. You know. Yeah, they'll need to bring in some NXT people, so yeah, to fill up the card. Um, I want Ember Moon to come into it. Sure. So, something I had on the mind there, and then like annoyed them, forgetting it. It's like slipping now. Really? Yeah. Um. I uh, yeah, I remember now. It was um, you know how like, they did the that match years ago where it was kind of like a women's Royal Rumble, but it wasn't really. Where they had all the all the famous like female wrestlers from like the past and all that. Are you and talking then, about? And then Santino Morello won it. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. I think he should actually be in the Rumble. The no, women's Rumble. No, 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 but here's why he should be in, okay? Why? He should go in just so he could be eliminated in one second. You've already done that to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, have it, do it to him again and acknowledge the past mistake of that moment when he when he won a match designed purely for women, you know? The best woman in WWE was a man. No. I don't think... Just, no, I don't I don't think that any man should I, be I anywhere bet, near I bet, this. I bet they'll do it. I bet they'll do it, you know? I, I don't want any man... Even if they're doing it to apologise. Even to apologise. It's, it's better just to completely, you know, to completely forget about it. They'll do it to fill out the, to fill out the card. No, they won't. They will. They won't. Come on, yeah. it's WWE. Uh, they, you they know they will. Won. They're more respectful now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're so totally more respectful now, you know. That's that's why they let Bailey get the shit kicked out of her by a kendo stick last year, you know. So. Yeah, but they're still... They're making it more the women are in the same kind of, you know, the same part of as the men. Like, you know, they're, you know, women will use weapons now and, you know, same aspect as, as the men. I guess so, but, you know, yeah. Um, well, who do you think, who do you think will win it and who do you want to win it? So, Ronda Rousey's going to win it. Right, okay. That's if she turns up, but. If, if Ronda Rousey turns up and she's in this match, She's definitely gonna win mm-hmm. it, or, or, uh, she's either gonna win it, mm-hmm. or this is what's gonna happen. Stephanie McMahon has been announced as the guest uh, commentator for the right, match. Right, right, right. So, how about this? Uh, Ronda Rousey comes out. She eliminates a hell of a lot of women. They like, just starts tossing them all over the place. Dislocations going all over the place. <laughs> uh. No arm, uh, arms, arms so. and uh, arms and legs falling over the place, and heads coming off. And out of nowhere, Stephanie McMahon gets into the ring and sneakily pushes Ronda Rousey over the top rope. All right, which makes a match: Ronda Rousey versus Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> Nobody <Mania>. wants to <laughs> see that, though. Nobody like, like it's one thing when Shane wrestles, but at least like Shane's kind of like an insane stuntman. 
so he doesn't really need a massive wrestling ability. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon would need amazing ability in the ring in order to take on Ronda Rousey, okay? I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, God, it's going to be <laughs> awful. Oh, no, nobody wants to see that. Like People want to see Stephanie get her comeuffance, but nobody wants to actually watch her try and fight, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but you're not going to be able to fight against Ronda Rousey. Hate, hate it. She's a like man remember though. I don't so care. They, they will try and find a way to make her look somewhat strong. Right, so. here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? If anybody tries to even punch or kick Ronda, Ronda's just going to kind of go, look <laughs> at them, and be like, nope. No, right, if Ronda's in it, she's going to win it, okay? Yeah, she's going to win if it. If she's not in it... I think it'll be Asuka or Bailey, just for the sheer fact that Asuka, they want to build her up for the streak thing, which they should do. That's a good idea, because yep. continuing from NXT, don't ruin her immediately. Um, well, technically, she wouldn't have lost this match. I mean, the, no, there's I, I, no I, losers. I, 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 know, just... I know, but the idea is that, you know, like, oh, she can win one-on-one, -on -one, but she can also win against a group of people and all that. Yeah. But in fact, I think Bailey might win it, just as like, just so they can like humiliate her at WrestleMania. I'm bored of Bailey. I it's, used, beca I it's, because, like it's because she needs to turn heel because that seems like a natural progression but they just won't let her do it. She's even talked about it saying she would love to turn heel and she knows how she would do it and everything. The problem is she clearly wants creative control for her heel turn and they don't want to give her that so they're yeah. not turning her heel. Um, because what she wants to do is she wants to replicate the Eddie Guerrero heel turn from WCW I think. That's actually where, good where he came out and he had not come out as in you know like Yeah we get yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when, when he came out to the ring and he had all the greasy hair and he looked like he'd been living in a tip for weeks and basically said he was just tired of all this bullshit and all that and that was his heel turn she said she wants to do something like that where she comes out and just looks like an absolute wreck Yeah. and is like right I'm just gonna you know what next time you see me I'm gonna absolutely destroy someone and that and it'll probably be I mean, Alexa Bliss probably so. I mean I, I, I used to like Bailey. Mm -hmm. I thought Bailey was a fantastic wrestler yeah yeah and now it's because they don't do anything with her so. yeah I mean that that's the whole thing and it's WWE's fault for why I don't like Bailey anymore because see that that uh, this is your life segment. Oh yeah, yeah, that. And they, that they, they made her out to be look like you know some really shy virgin girl who's never kissed a boy in her life. <laughs> I mean that that was a moment where it was just like all she needed was like really big glasses and braces. No, and like just standing there in like this little pose, not just like I didn't mean it, Mister. You know. <laughs> WWE has this habit, especially with the women division, the female division, that they'll take one step forward and ten steps freaking <laughs> back. Then when that happens and everybody goes, what the hell were they even thinking? They go, okay, we, we, we've done something bad here. And that's why Santino Morello needs to be at it. No. So. <laughs> because they think it's funny. Mm-hmm. And when people don't like it, they go, okay, what we... we oh, you we, mean kind of like how the first winner of the female Money in the Bank was a man? Yeah, that was... Like. <laughs> I mean, that that's another thing. It was like, we, we need this to happen. We we need it to happen because mm -hmm. people's going to love it. And yeah, when yeah. no one likes it, they're like... They're like, okay, we we done a big doo-doo. I don't know. I also do think it's kind of a... It's weird because in the attitude era, the women's division was actually all right, and then it was like the two thousands. They kind of like kept taking it backwards. That beca because they because made them divas. It was yeah, it was because Trish Stratus got popular, right? Okay. Yeah. And it was because not only was she a good wrestler, but because she was also she also had model looks and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's what Vince just started doing. Instead of hiring wrestlers, he hired models, thinking that's what worked. It's like no, it was because she was actually a good wrestler right. as well. You know. Um. Because when you think about the women's division before that, it was very big, muscular women and all that, like China. Yeah. And uh, even and half the time they didn't even fight one another; they fought the men. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I do, I do think it's kind of a shame that the people from like that era of wrestling are either not wanting to take part in it, or they they can't take part in it anymore. Uh, especially in the case of China, who I think would have been a perfect like, entrant for it. Um, but you know, I ain't gonna happen, obviously. Um, no. And they still won't let her into the Hall of Fame because Triple H claims it's all about the porn. And it's like, you don't know, Sonny did porn, right? And she's in the Hall of Fame. Yep. Sable literally got topless on air. And I think she's in the Hall of Fame, right? Yep. Yeah, so I don't know why they can't just put 
chain it in. I mean, it just seems so. It's nonsense. And she should have been put in when she was alive as well. So yeah, we're not going to go into politics with WWE. I know, but I'm just saying, like someone who should be in the first women's Royal Rumble, and she isn't going to be on it. You know. Yeah. Um. But I, I, I think it. Well, if Ronda Rousey's in it, she's winning it. Yeah, yeah. But if she's not in it, Asuka's going to win it. Or Santino Morella. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win it? Um, yeah, if Ronda's in it, I think she probably is. But if she's not in it, then Asuka or Bailey. Um, they might do a thing where maybe like Bailey eliminates Asuka. And then that leads to the to WrestleMania where Asuka completely crushes Bailey, mm-hmm. or Asuka just wins it, and then whoever she faces at WrestleMania, she just crushes them as well. But you know, we will see. I I personally feel it's going to be, uh, you know, something. I'm I want Asuka to win, mm-hmm. but maybe Nia Jackson might win. Oh really? Yeah, maybe. Why would you say that? I don't know. I mean, what? Well, the fact they keep portraying her like she's an indestructible force, she never actually wins a match. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what woman <laughs> is gonna? Well, what what divas? I mean, me, maybe uh, Tamina. <laughs> but oh my god, what if they turn Nia Jax into the next like um, uh, the kind of Royal Rumble meme? Oh no. no! No 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 no! You know how like every year the big shows in the Royal Rumble? Yeah. And Michael Cole always goes, "Who could possibly eliminate the big show?" Even though he gets eliminated every year. What if they start doing that to her? Just like, who could possibly eliminate Nia Jax of all these women? And she never actually wins it. Okay. So, we're going to go... I'm going to go with Asuka. Yeah. I, I want Asuka Yeah, me as well, yeah. So, so you got Asuka or Nia Jax, in <laughs> my opinion. So, are we on to the men's one, then? We're on to the men's. I don't even know who's all win this. I, I'm not even too sure. And I think there's like 17 men. Well, the pictures here so far seem to be Woken Matt Hardy, ben. Randy Orton... Uh, Finn Balor, John Cena, Shinsuke Nakamura, Baron Corbin, Bray Wyatt, and um, Elias, and Elias, yeah. Um, I can also imagine maybe some of the tag guys might turn up. Like the New Day are probably going to be on it. Yeah. Um, Actually, I haven't even seen that t- New Day thing here. Yeah, so they're probably going to be in the. Yeah, Rumble. they're going to be in the Rumble. Um, I don't know. Think think there's going to be any big returns for this Rumble actually? Because you or do you think any debuts, returns or debuts? Maybe Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, right. Maybe. I don't know if he's he's finished recovering. Mm. I hope he's finished recovering because, I, 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 you know. Has Big Cass re- finished recovering? I think he has, actually. So maybe he could be in it. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, is he in it? What, what if, because he no longer has... Um, he no longer has uh, Enzo to do his intro for him. They get Hornswoggle to do it for him instead. Yeah, Hornswoggle isn't a wrestler anymore. I, I know, but I mean, like they could have him be his like little announcer, like no. to to further show how big Big Cass is. No, Big Cass should just be. <laughs> big Cass should have a push, have a decent push. Yeah, not, yeah. Not like straight to the world title, but a decent push, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean. We'll see what happens in this match, but I'm not. I'm I know. I still think Dolph Ziggler's going to turn up in this one. I think Dolph Ziggler's going to show up in the Bobby Roode Open Challenge. No, 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 I think he's going to turn up in this. And I think he's going to win it. Because think about how insane that would be, and it actually feels like an oddly natural progression to his character. I don't know. Whatever his character actually is, if I'm being honest. So <laughs> that no, that or Jinder's going to win it, <laughs> which no. that would piss off people, you know. Because maybe Rusev is going to win. Maybe they went with. Uh, I, yeah, but you, no matter how popular Rusev is, they never give him any kind of like big massive pushes. Yeah, towards any kind of world title. Like they give him the US title, but they don't give him like. But WWE consider that to be a secondary title compared to the world and yeah. universal titles. Um, it's it's really weird though that the the US title is now more important than the Intercontinental one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because. The Intercontinental one was often considered to be like the second most important. It was like all the best wrestlers had it, not the most famous ones. All the best ones had it. Yeah. But now it feels like though they've given that obligation to the US title. Mhm. I don't know. It's just the fact half the time it's not even people from the US that are even holding it. it yeah. For some reason, the majority of people that have had it have been Canadian. I don't. I don't know if I completely understand the yeah. logic behind that. You know something? The, the one I really want want to win, and I really hope he does. 
uh, mainly for the fact I'm a massive fan of his, is Finn Balor. Hmm. I want Finn Balor to win this. Yeah, but then what if, you know, he, he wins it and then, I don't know, like his WrestleMania match is like the Bray Wyatt one from last year where he just does all the oogity boogity spooky shit. No, he. he like, <laughs> no, here's the thing, right? The match I'm hope the match I've just kind of came up with within my head for WrestleMania, and I, it's not it's not going to happen. Uh, I doubt it's ever going to happen. No, it's not going to happen at all. Definitely not. Right. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> what match do you think I've got in my head? I don't know. Is it AJ versus Finn versus Shinsuke or something? Fuck yeah. Well, that's why people keep thinking Shinsuke is going to win it because it's the natural match for Mania. I don't think Shinsuke is going to win it, but I think he's going to verse AJ at WrestleMania. Right, right. I I think Shinsuke is going to verse AJ at WrestleMania. Even if it's not a world title fight? Even so. if it's not a world title fight. Yeah, but adding the title to it adds even more weight to it. It's not just a match people want to see. They want some stake in it, you know? Yeah. Don't just... I think I think that's been a problem. Like, um, yeah, because think, think about Shinsuke Nakamura versus John Cena was a match people really wanted to see, and they just threw it on SmackDown. They didn't, like... Yeah. There was no title involved. There was no... Yeah, it was a number one contender match, but it was like... No, this <laughs> this needs to be like a big main event kind of deal, you know. Instead, Daniel Bryan just walked out and was just like, "Hey guys, you know what we should do? We should just we should just do that match everybody wants to do, but we're just gonna do it randomly for the hell of it, you know." Yeah. And I think Daniel Bryan is gonna come back. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think the, Daniel Bryan. There's been a lot of talk back. about that that he's gonna get cleared. I think that, and I think he's coming back. If he doesn't. If he doesn't come back, though, he's leaving the company, definitely. He's leaving at WrestleMania. Oh, my God, though. He, see, here's the problem, though, okay? See, if he came back, people would want him to win, okay? Um, But we know that's not going to happen. What's actually going to happen, okay? If Daniel Bryan came back, Shane would also be an entry in the Royal Rumble. And they would... And I think Shane would eliminate him, and then that would cause the feud between the two of them for Mania. I think that's what they would do. I think that's the way it's going to go. I genuinely think if, but that is if Daniel Bryan has finally been cleared by WWE's doctors. I don't see why they can't clear him because other doctors have cleared him. Yeah. I mean, I do understand that they are very serious about the whole concussion thing. I mean, who would be? But if his condition isn't as bad as they initially thought, then I don't see why he can't come back as long as he just stops doing the diving headbutt. He should be fine. Yeah. Um. Because it's not like they're going to prevent him from wrestling somewhere else either. He has said like if he want if he's going to wrestle again. He would love to just do it in WWE. It would just be so much simpler for him. He's yeah. saying like, if I have to do it somewhere else, I will do it somewhere else. He's like, he's like the opposite of CM Punk. CM Punk doesn't want to wrestle anymore, and so does some other shit. Daniel Bryan does some other shit, but he desperately wants to wrestle. Yeah, um, they just won't let him. You know, I, I want Finn Balor to win. I really, really want Finn to win. I think they should start nah, pushing him. Zagor is going to win it. Um, do you think any like old school stars are going to turn up by like the Undertaker, or is the Undertaker laid down that he's definitely retired now? Undertaker's di- he's retired. Uh, that's uh, he's retired. Uh, I'm sorry, but he's retired. That that that's that. Do do you think there'll be any kind of returns from a certain someone who keeps claiming they wants to challenge Brock Lesnar for the title? Who's that? Yeah, Ken Shamrock. Really? Yeah. Do do you not know, hear about that? No. That after Goldberg came back and took on Brock Lesnar, Shamrock suggested that he come back and take on Brock Lesnar because he believes that uh, if the two of them had a UFC fight, he says he could totally beat Lesnar, even though Shamrock has not won that many matches since he turned 40 in the UFC. I'm sorry, but... Like, like, but yeah, I think he was talking about his prime, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like, Ken Shamrock was saying, in my prime, I could beat Brock Lesnar because I have a bigger move set and all that. Um, whereas Brock Lesnar's just a tank. That that's how he get that's how he attempts to get by, and he and from what I've heard, he said because it was possible for Goldberg to come back and take on Lesnar, he says I, he basically was just like, I don't see why I can't come back and take on Lesnar, mm-hmm. and it would it would be a big draw, it'd be it'd be weird to watch Ken Shamrock fight Brock Lesnar, but no, you know he's, he's not coming back. I don't want Ken Shamrock. I think that'd be a, that'd be a terrible idea. I mean, there's I mean, if you've seen his if you've seen his MMA record. It's like more so Lizzie's, aren't yeah, it? Yeah, it's 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 nearly it's nearly even with wins and losses, because it, he should have retired at forty. Yeah, 
like most like fire some heck some fighters retire before 40 imagine um, Hulk Hogan coming back oh god well they, there has been talks of it but like do you really want to see that imagine it yeah but do you really want to see that though? <laughs> no <laughs> I'm, imagine it you know his music starts he walks down to the ring and he gets eliminated yeah, eliminated in one second <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you know what they would do you know what they would do he walks down breaks his hip gets taken a wheelchair <laughs> and then when the last guy's standing Hulk Hogan technically wasn't eliminated so he comes back and chucks them over <laughs> and and they're, and they're like whoa how can he do that it's like well he technically wasn't eliminated he didn't even really enter so he was still eligible to come in and throw you over the ring and at Wrestlemania he gets completely destroyed by Brock Lesnar <laughs> god just just as long as they don't dig up Roddy Piper's corpse, we're fine. So you know. yeah, but right, okay. Let, let's talk about who's actually going to win. And I've told or, you, Dolph Ziggler's going to win. No, like <laughs> reality-wise. And who you, and, you, and, you and I both kind of think Roman Reigns, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm saying Roman Reigns is winning. He's winning. I'm sorry. I don't. He's winning no matter what. And at the end of the thing, it's going to be the exact same thing. People are just going to. Boo, oh, he- oh, no, I just... Oh, well, I mean, even The Rock couldn't get Roman Reigns exactly. over. Exactly. Here- so they would need to get someone out really fucking big <laughs> to get the to cheer Roman Reigns. Right, and here's the thing, right? I, I know they're going to do this, is, you know, he- he'll get booed out the stadium. But see, once that goes up so on YouTube... Stupid. Once that goes up on it's YouTube... It's going to turn to cheers. That's going to be cheers. <laughs> They're going to edit it so it's cheers. Yeah, they do that quite a lot where they like deliberately take away the microphones near the audience. Yeah. They mute it all so it makes, so it makes it like he's getting booed but not that loudly. Yeah. You know, even though uh, if you actually watch like the clips of like a fan's phone, it's like over, it's like there's almost like an earthquake going on <laughs> because of the boos. Um, and if you watch a YouTube or a WWE, a WWE network, it's just. You know, cheers. Yeah, it's Roman, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, we love Roman. <laughs> Roman is Roman is gonna win this. I'm sorry, but he's he's winning it because he's gonna he's going up against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. No, I don't wanna see that though. Like, cause that's a match you could literally like put on SummerSlam, honestly. It's happening. It's not something you should put on WrestleMania. It's happening. I, I don't want it though. Hap- so, you may no. not want it, but it's happening. It's happening. <sighs> Nobody It's happening. Literally, the terms with it, it's happening. Literally, nobody wants to see that. It's happening. Like, no one wants to see it, but it's gonna happen. I'd, I'd rather watch a fish tank fight a fax machine. Okay, <laughs> like, I would honestly rather see that. Like, oh no, oh no, the fish tank has got some water. The fax machine's paper. That is more exciting than Brock Lesnar versus Roman fucking Reigns. Okay, um, I don't. Reigns is gonna win, um, but. <laughs> Right, I'm going. To, I'm going to say three people. Pick three people that you want to win. Three okay, people. Okay. Here's what we. Sh- here's here's something we should select these actually. Who you want to win? Who you think is going to win? And a wild card option. Who do you think would be like an insane option? But they might actually go ahead and do it. Okay. Right. I th- I really really want Finn Balor to win. Okay. I think. I think Randy Orton's going to win. <laughs> what <laughs> two years in a row? Yeah, I think he's gonna win. Uh, and wild card, John Cena. Right, right, right. He's not gonna win it, but I generally feel uh, that's my wild card. Okay, that's my wild hmm. card. Right. Well, hmm. let me think here. I'm trying to think who I really actually do want to win it. Um, Broken Matt Hardy, Woken Matt Hardy. Well, I mean, I mean, it'd be neat, but I mean, it'd be kind of. <laughs> I mean, you do know how how weird it's going to be just having him in the match in general. Anyway, like no. everybody he chucks out, he's going to go to the center stage and go delete or deleted. Like, no, imagine just just imagine, you know, Broken Matt Hardy or Woken Matt Hardy, or however you wish to call him. You know, he's the last person in there with. For Roman Reigns, right? Just imagine it. Just imagine the mm-hmm. amounts of delete, delete, <laughs> delete. Oh, man. like, oh, we we never thought maybe Jeff Hardy's gonna come back and that. Well, I mean, like he's already. I mean, he already did come back, but like he's gonna yeah, be Robert Nero, right? I don't think he's gonna be. 
in the rumble itself though. I don't think so. he's gonna be in the rumble. Mm. I think he's. He, I don't think he's been cleared. Right, right, right. You think that was just at Raw twenty five? It was just kind of a yeah, he just would... a well cameo to let them know brother Nero's coming. You know, yeah. so plus um uh, off camera after the match with uh, Matt Hardy and uh, Bray Wyatt, mm-hmm. someone's got on camera phone of Jeff coming to the ring. Yeah, yeah. and he's singing that off Salute song he did in TNA alright okay and he started singing that well, and everybody was singing with him yeah yeah um, but I think that was just an off camera moment yeah yeah like you know they do at live events <laughs> um, that doesn't really matter to the canon of the actual story right 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 I think I know who I want to win it but I don't think he's at, I don't know how what the likelihood of him actually okay. going to be I want Daniel Bryan to win it right um, because I think AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the world title Mm-hmm. Would be amazing, but the but the problem would be, they they'd both they'd both be face though, mm. because as much as they're trying to like potentially put Daniel Bryan in a heel position, there's he has the same effect as AJ Styles. He cannot be heel anymore. Yeah, that's true. People love him too much, you know. But if he gets cleared and he's in the Rumble, I want to see Daniel Bryan win it. The person <laughs> who I actually think is gonna win it, I, it it's a toss up between two people. Go on. I either think Roman Reigns, like we discussed, or I think Triple H is going to win it. <laughs> because Triple H hates me. So, <laughs> um, like, was it the 2015 Raw Rumble? I think so. Um, that he won it. And I remember the last two people were him and Dean Ambrose, and I desperately was like, oh my god, Dean Ambrose has to win this. This is going to be so... This is this is Triple H giving his push to Dean Ambrose, you know? Mm-hmm. This is Triple H being like, yes, Dean, this is your time. Win the title, my friend. This is I'm giving you this, and the fact you're eliminating me. That no, no, I'm just gonna win it, Dean. Ha! <laughs> it's like no, that was such a pile of shit. We had to wait ages for Dean Ambrose actually won the title. Um, um, and even then, he won it because of his money in the bank. Um, mm-hmm. Cash in, you know, like he didn't get a match to do it. He just he went in after our match, cashed in, and then put down Seth Rollins. Um, so, but yeah, it's even I. I actually genuinely think it'll either be Roman Reigns or Triple H. Um, the reason for Roman Reigns, as we discussed, basically, but then the reason for Triple H is so he has three victories under his belts, and he can say, he can like change it to his new catchphrase, like, my three Royal Rumble wins are the three H's of victory. <laughs> um, oh. And in my wild card, it's Dolph Ziggler. Okay. I think if they were insane enough to do it, they would do it. <laughs> think about how funny it would be. I mean, it, it just feels like an actual progression for him at this point. I don't it, it just feels, it, it genuinely feel, it feels like they're going to do a Chris Jericho on him and just be like, stay in the company, please. We'll even put you in a world title match, you know? Um, or, heck, the way his character is, because he gave up the uh, the US title so easily. Mm-hmm. What if it's like he wins the Royal Rumble, but then like throws away the chance to win it? Yeah. To, to, that That's what they could do, actually. So that, that leaves the Mania match more open. Give it, give the like, give the victory to Ziggler, but then he like tosses away the the, the number one. I think it would be a, I think it would be a, a a wasted opportunity. I don't know. I mean, I just I just think it would be I think it'd be weird and it'd be bold. It'd be interesting. Um, maybe a terrible idea if they do it wrong, but at the same time, I kind of just want to see it because I want to laugh. So, <laughs> um, that's really all I can say about that. <laughs> Um, okay, so so we're ending it on <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. Okay, what was that, Ryder? What's it? <laughs> no, Heath Slater. You know something? I'd be so happy if Heath Slater won. <laughs> I got kids, man. <laughs> no, but if, I, if Heath Slater's gonna be in it, he's gonna get eliminated immediately. I'm calling it. They're just gonna they're gonna throw in a bunch of jobbers at one point for <laughs> Roman Reigns. So, not yeah. not to say that Heath Slater is a complete jobber. He is a tag champion, but at the same time. He's a any jobber t- now, though. Yeah, but any time he does something by himself, he's a jobber. You know, yeah. when he's a tag team guy, he actually does all right. But then when he does like singles competing, he just or competition is competing even a word. Com- compet. I don't know. It's, it's it's even weird to pronounce. <laughs> so no, I don't think it's a word. But when he's competing. doing like, when he's competing for singles titles, he's a jobber. Yeah, but when I don't know, I got yeah. kids, man. So we're gonna leave it at that with. You know his prediction of Dolph Ziggler and my prediction that John Cena, my mine's more, you know, 
more what realistic, more realistic. That John Cena is. I don't know. No, no, Matt. John Cena's going to take you, out that you, giant you, shovel. You, and <laughs> you need to remember, though, my one isn't impossible. It's just improbable. Yeah. That's all. And if it's improbable, then it could happen. So that that just means, like, there's a 10% chance of it happening. But as long as that 10% actually it, it, exists. I doubt it's a 10%. It's more a 1% But as long chance. as that 1% exists, it could happen. Cena is most likely the f- favourite to win this. But he's leaving, though. So He's not leaving, though. Well, he, he's part-time now, but he's still... No, he's a free agent because they want him on both Raw and SmackDown. Exactly. I mean, imagine him being world champion and being able to switch between. <sighs> imagine him taking world champion and universal champion. <laughs> oh, God, no. And making no, another no, no, spinning... Nobody wants to see undisputed champ Cena, okay? That is, like, one of the worst ideas you could ever have. In the... People want to see undisputed champion Jericho, but nobody wants to see undisputed Jesus. champion Cena, you know? Right, so we're go- we're going to end it there. We've been talking about an- talking oh, about Chris should come back as well. Actually, I so. don't think he'd come back. He may. Right, okay, we're going to end it there. Um, it's been an hour of talking about ro- the Royal Rumble and just going to watch it is going to be terrible when talking about it. Uh, but I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not. I don't know. I mean, like, I think it's one of these things that looking at the card, it should be good. Mm-hmm. But the problem is all the build up to it. I just don't give a you know, two tits and a corn cob, you know, so. What? what? Wait, it's a phrase, okay? Just do, <laughs> just deal with it, okay? Breathe it in, man. No, I'm know? not going to fuck off with that. <laughs> no, but I'm not looking forward to it. I'm uh, really not. I just, I just think, I just think I would have given more of a crap if the build-up was better. Yeah. Like, actually, like, I just, I just feel like this is going to be one of those Royal Rumbles where if you get a friend who doesn't watch wrestling mm-hmm. and hasn't watched it in years or what, it doesn't know anybody in it, and you sit them down to watch it, and when the Royal Rumble's happening, and he's asking, "Oh, who's that guy? Who's his beef with?" and all that, you're just gonna be able to be like, "I don't fucking know." Yeah, even if you're um, a, a proper fan of wrestling, you're not gonna. Have yeah, a yeah, clue. Cause, yeah. Whereas in the actual era, if they were having a rumble or all that, like if like The Rock came out and you had a friend who hadn't been watching wrestling, it's like, "Oh, what's his deal? And who who is he hating? And all that." It's like. Well, he's the people's champ, and he fucking hates mankind right now, or something like that. Yeah, he's got, he's, and, he's with mankind. and mankind's that guy right there, and they have been going at it for like months or whatever, and they really want each other dead and all that. Whereas now it's just like, hey, who's that guy? He seems pretty cool. Who, who's he got beef with? Oh, that's Roman Reigns. He's got a beef with the audience. <laughs> so like, this is, he's a big dog. In um, his well, yard. Yeah, yeah, but but who is he? Oh, he's Roman Reigns. That doesn't. Add, he is Roman Reigns, and that's all you need to know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's is... a big dog. Uh, right. So we're gonna end it there. I'm not looking forward to it. Daniel's clearly looking forward to it. Well, I, I mean, a bit more than you. I just, you know, as I said, I would look more forward to it if I gave a shit. So you know. Yeah, and that's the end of number. What number is this? What episode? Uh, episode uh, wait, 9, c- 10? Just call it The Return. The Return. Or, or the Revenge or something. <laughs> Revengeance. <laughs> and we're going to end it there. Revenge uh, of the Revenge. <laughs> so. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. Please share it with all your friends. And like Endgame Productions and go like Retro Runner Productions. And uh, if you subscribed, we won't go on a hiatus again. So... <laughs> I'm not on a hi- hi- hiatus anymore. Well, yeah, I know, I know. So, but you know, I got you know we got we, we got to tease the people. You know, got, you went got, on a hiatus. <laughs> I went on a, hey, on a hiatus. I, I moved house and my microphone's in a box somewhere. I think give give me some slack. You know, so well, ever since I ever since the new year, I've been uploading videos. I mean, they're, they've not been very good, but I've been still uploading videos just yeah. for something. Yeah. I mean, at least one of us was productive. You know. I mean, I, I, I just, I just kind of sat home and <laughs> played video games. Yeah, you know, I mean, Christmas was happening, man. Okay, so I mean, look, I, I redesigned the Endgame Productions logo, uh, made a website, uh, rebranded it completely. I, I'll have you know, I celebrate Christmas like it's Hanukkah. It goes on for twelve days. <laughs> okay, so and I've I, got I, a I like kid to, now. I, I like to, I like to call it. Chris <laughs> like that's Right, we're going to end it there. <laughs> this is most likely going to offend someone. No, oh, come on. How is that going to offend somebody? I combined two holidays together. It's not like I slandered both holidays. Yeah, but people I'm, are going to see you as slandering. I'm, I'm pretty sure Hanukkah is as great as Christmas, okay? <laughs> right, we're out. We're done. Please...
go like, sus- you know, subscribe and share. And it's all free. Go do it. Go on. Yeah, you have no excuse. Come on. Go do it right now. Go I'll, on. I will. I, I will. If you if you subscribed, I will personally come to your house and hand you a cookie. He doesn't have a cookie. Hey, you don't know that. I know you. See that? You hear that? That's the bag of cookies. That's actually a bag of crisps. Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Right, see ya.